now I'm at Karasuki and it's rail goes here through those two bowls and we'll take a round from there and then go to the other side of the road and there where those west guys are it goes there so this is the place that really needs some good kick ass tre leaders in the team so now I got that thing uh, to electric so we don't have to use any gas unless I want to make some noodles but there is a grill and I think Anni wants some matteruoka which means pizza or hamburger or something like that and I had to leave the dogs here Puti, Rimo and Oxy so it's not far from our caravan and the checkpoint area is over there I just need to walk a little bit and surprisingly the electric is free because Scandic is more than happy to sponsor free electric to the Finnmark Slöppet participants which I didn't know so huge shout out to Scandic and of course Nina who called Scandic Karasjok and asked about the electric things so quite nice have to say that even though I I think I said uh, day one or two to Matti that I am not uh, I am not uh, liking at, at that time I didn't like uh, the this event so much but it starts to grow on me so and it has nothing to do with breed racist so now I just wait Annie to come I well I have to take care of the dogs but anyways it started to snow quite heavily but this is like very light snow and very wet snow it's minus five only uh, and from there should be soon come Andrea Sildener and after that should come Anni and all I can do is just wait and hope that the Anni's leaders will do as Anni says because the route like I previously show showed the route is going on the sidewalks so fingers crossed although Anni has had some issues with the, with her dogs that nobody really wants to lead or they want to lead but not forward only like right or left so she has had a couple of breaks uh, unplanned breaks but let's see what happens when she gets to the checkpoint now there is someone coming I think it's Sildener, Andrea Sildener. And now is Anne coming.
<laughs> okay, now I must run to the checkpoint area. <laughs> Here is Anne. There is Annie doing her checkpoint routines. I have to say that this time she came to get the depot bags really fast. I just don't know, was it because she has only five dogs or what was different this way, this, this time? And here is Andreas doing his thing and Wet is checking his dogs or at least one dog. This is quite a nice place to have a doggy rest. Annie's first comment about this leg was Perseesta, which translates was from ass. I don't know what what is she now doing over there. She's once again walking. This is like Bigfoot sighting. This is like we are having a, a nature document and we see this rare species called mushers. They just walk around close to their team like they don't have a clue what to do but I think they have some sort of clue but they do and now Anne is putting some straws yeah the dogs looked really nice and happy But maybe this this will be Annie's fastest checkpoint routine yet for this race. So she get to eat the hamburger meal which I ordered for her. Anthony is coming. And it seems like he has one dog in the sled bag. This is the last checkpoint and Anne is doing her stuff so she can leave the 
was it like 80 kilometers to Jotka where I can't go and then around 50 kilometers to Finnmark I mean Alta oh my god uh, we woke up 7 o'clock and now it's half past 8 and even if I look like very well dressed for the weather for the up north there is like minus two only so I bet this one will be also really hard because it's so warm and I heard yesterday that there is also some mountains to climb up so let's see if Annie is Anni can finish uh, today or will it go tomorrow to finish because I sure I'm not going to I am sure that I'm not going to get her out of Jotka I don't even know is it possible with this caravan but yeah uh -huh. Uh, now I will go to the checkpoint to see what's going on and my every clip ends with and oh my god uh, uh, I have nothing else to say for this clip so bye and he's still thinking that whether she start or not uh, she is now giving them some food and uh, Linda just left from the checkpoint and then there is this guy Keijo who is somewhere waiting for Linda or someone that they go together to the mountains mm. the first one first team is Anthony's team the second one is Andres's team and yeah and, and there is Anne's team I can show you a little bit round about this checkpoint so this is the area from this side this point of view and apparently that's an old school building and this is the Sami center where is the where you can go inside and go to the toilet and so on I don't want to get too close I don't want to Harass the dogs. Yeah, there is only tea, three teams remaining here. And Anne said that she haven't seen anyone else. I mean Andreas or Anthony. And she was kind of hoping that they would be starting also that she wouldn't go she wouldn't have to go alone like alone alone for us it has been it has seemed that they have been going together because of the GPS trackers but uh, Annie said that this leg was the first one where they actually came like really close that they saw each other but otherwise they have been mushing by themselves so they all got the green lights to go and they are soon leaving from the checkpoint to Jotka So Anni is really soon ready to leave. Kanerva thinks that can we go? Can we go? <laughs> uh, 
Andreas just said that the ladies first. Okay, now Anni is coming. Tsempiä paljon! And there goes Anni. She was saying that not as flying movement as in the start, but it doesn't have to be. And now Andrea is leaving. And Anthony is leaving. Uh oh. the dog right place. And off he goes. <laughs> Looks like they are waiting or there was a pee break. Oh, you can see it from there also. I think we only can see the mushroom. <laughs> so, Anit just left and I will be here at Karasjok till she reached reach Jotka or she comes back. I of course hope that she will go to Jotka and have a nice rest there and then it's only 49 kilometers to go to cross finish line but have to say that I am really uh, glad that those three teams uh, Anni, Antoni and Andreas are working together to reach the goal so that's quite a sportsmanship but now i have to do my duties which is this one and those three on the next clip Herku, Herku, Herku. Rimo, Rimo. Tule. Nani. Now you are tangled up. Ah. Oh my god.
I just need to show you how sweet food is when I'm putting her inside the trailer. Booty. 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 She jumps on, jumps on me, so I have to lift her. So now I have to lift her. Almost walked to the this one. What the fuck is that called in English? Oh my god. Why I don't remember the name? Well you can see what it what it is. So I almost walked on it. Got SMS from Anita at least they are going to Jotka. Well, the speed they have is not the best one she has had. But anyways, they are going to Jotka as the three little trains behind, behind, behind. How do you say? Anyway, uh, so goodbye. Karasjok is Kandik. You treat me. Well, soon we will be, ah, you can see the sign, there is Jerkul checkpoint, Jerkul Asto, if you can see the sign, checkpoint with Finnmark's logo on it. And I still have 160 kilometers to go till Alta, 